Hello, so these are the books I'm gonna haul today and that I bought. There's a lot of them. I think there's like 20 or something like that. Okay, it's 18 books. So if I quickly let you know how much I've spent, I think I spent £15 in one place and a fiver in another, roughly. Basically, I went to Winchester, which is where Jane Austen died and was buried. Winchester is so, so, so pretty and surprisingly hilly. We went to so many cute places. So I think when we got there, I went to this place called something orangey, orangery. It was this cute little cafe place. And so we went there like what, like 10 ish or something like that. And I had this gorgeous, do you know, like a full English breakfast? It was like a full Turkish breakfast. It was so yummy. So it was like this, like, pita bread with like Greek yogurt and like herbs and stuff, like, smeared on it. And then I had like a bunch of lettuce and like salad, two poached eggs, and then like a bunch of like, it said Turkish meat, but I'm not sure what kind of meat it was. I had a little hot chocolate with whipped cream on it. And then we went looking around all the charity shops. I can't remember how many books I found there. And then whilst I was in that, I found a bunch of Agatha Christie books, but they were really ugly. So I was like, I was actually saying to my friend, like, oh, these are so ugly. Like, I wish they were really pretty, blah, blah, blah. This little old woman next to me she was like oh you should go to the deanery bookstall and i was like oh my god like thank you she was like if you want to like find like more agatha, agatha christie books or just like pretty books or whatever i was like well thanks and then we walked there it was insane it's like um a charity shop but for the cathedral all the money goes to the church which by the way um we went inside we had to pay like 10 quid i just wanted to see where jane austen was buried i got this which is so cute so they had a whole bunch of these like a bunch of famous people that you could get but i found this one i was like i cannot go to winchester and not buy a book about her look at the inside it's just so cute look at the <laughs> the drawings are just so pretty yeah so we went to the little bookstore so i've got photos right the inside it's like bigger than the photos even look like it's lots of little rooms like in and out there's millions of books millions so i spent like a good hour outside and it was so sunny so like the light was reflecting off the books and burning my eyeballs and then we went inside i found even more i didn't even get to like touch the surface of the books inside because i was like you know what i've spent too long here already and i'm gonna buy so many books so i was like i need to stop I went to zz's and got some yummy food i got some olives because i'm obsessed with olives i think it was like ravioli but it was like goat cheese and spinach and like pesto and tomato and it was really yummy and i put a whole bunch of chili oil on it and it was really yummy it was such a good day i definitely recommend going to winchester if you guys like really adorable old towns slash city-ish vibes like oh it was just so adorable and there is lots of hills but like it's just so sweet and it's just i, I wish i could spend like a bit longer there and I definitely want to go during Christmas because apparently they have a really like cool Christmas market. Anyways, let's get into the book haul. So I've got millions. First of all, we've got Memoirs of a Geisha by Arthur Golden. My sister read this. She said it is really cool, really brilliant. Apparently it's got like a little bit of a love story in The Life of a Geisha. Oh, <laughs> look at this. That's someone's name on the day that they bought it. Oh my god, this is so sweet. It said that while you're reading it, it feels like you become transported to another time, another place. And feel you're listening and seeing with someone else's ears and eyes. The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. This, I didn't even know what it was about. The circus arrives without warning. No announcements precede it. It's simply there when yesterday is not. I think it's a love story. It's just about circus. And I read one book that was set in a circus and I loved it because I just thought being in a circus is so cool. Like the sense of like family that you get. Like a really fun story to read about. So I'm excited about this because like everyone's read it and apparently it's really good. So next up, I found this really gorgeous book. And the condition is perfect. Oh, it's got pictures in here. Oh. This is The Five Orange Pips and Other Cases by Arthur Conan Doyle, which is basically the guy who writes Sherlock Holmes books. I think he's got a bunch of different cases in here. He's got lots of different cases in here. Which I'm excited about because I've never read any Sherlock Holmes books before. So I'm excited about this because apparently it's like really cozy. Then I got then I got a book in the Murder Most Unload like mystery series and this one is called The Mistletoe and Murder. Apparently you can read these not in order, like you don't have to read them in order. Does that make sense? But this is by Robin Stevens and this is just a Christmassy one and I'm really excited to read it. I love middle grade mysteries. I feel like they're so cool. Keeping with the theme of Christmas, I found Sleigh Rides and Silver Bells at the Christmas Fair by Heidi Swain. I read this ages ago during Christmas, like in 2020 or something. I read this and I really loved it. It was so Christmassy and so sweet. It was just such a sweet like romance. I didn't think it was smutty. It was just a really wholesome Christmassy book. I can't wait to read this during Christmas again. Next up, I got Bridget Jones' Mad About the Boy by Helen Fielding. If you're British, everyone loves Bridget Jones. 
you're gonna be obsessed and this is the third book in the series i think it's the third book in the series i want to collect the entire series i think there's literally only three of them but i want to collect all of them so i can read them because my sister read them and she says they're even better than the movies i'm really excited okay just really quickly i'm throwing in this one because i didn't exactly haul it i found it downstairs my mom kept lots of books that i read when i was younger and so this was one of them and i love fantastic mr fox the movie so so much it's gonna give me all the nostalgia so i'm excited for it this again i got charity shopping yeah so i'm excited for this one it's just about a big friend giant the movies look so cool they just look so nostalgic even though i've never watched it does that make sense like it just looks like a bedtime story next up i've got educated by tara westover which is basically a memoir like biography about her life all i know is that she lived quite a crazy life i think she was a mormon her dad was very paranoid and like heavily religious it's just basically going through that and how that affects her life i think yeah it says her family grew up protect preparing for the end of days oh i didn't realize this and she had no school records no birth, birth certificate because she never set foot in a classroom no medical records because, because her father didn't believe in hospitals my sister read this and she says she really enjoyed it so i'm excited to read it because i trust what she says two john green books i've got the fault in our stars which i read ages and ages ago when i first started reading and i want to reread it again and see if i like it because i can't even remember what i thought about it last time i just think it's really cute then i got looking for alaska by john green apparently this is just really good and everyone loves that it's just one of those things that like everyone's read when they were like during their teenage years so next up i've got one day by david nicholas and this is just basically heartbreaking love story where uh two people always try and like reach each other but like never quite get there giving me all the vibes of like two soulmates that are meant to be together but keep getting like torn apart by the universe and that is one of my favorite tropes i watched the movie ages ago when i was younger and i remember thinking whoa what is going on i literally only remember the ending which I feel like is probably bad but like nothing has shocked me more i was like uh what just happened um i remember it was kind of depressing but i was a kid so i feel like i didn't really understand it but yes i'm excited to read this because apparently it's a lot of people's favorite but next up i've got northanger abbey i can't have to say that northang northanger abbey i'm not sure by jane austen and i thought this cover is so pretty it's so cute it looks just literally like autumn and like elegant and everything like that i'm so excited for it i don't know what this is about i've heard that apparently it's like autumn in a book it's jane austen so i'm assuming it's a romance yeah, i'm trying to collect all the jane austen books michael mapago private peaceful if you're english i feel like you probably read this when you were younger this is like heartbreaking and traumatic for a kid to read i think it's just a sad war story about this guy called thomas peaceful who is just basically reliving his past then i've got this big beefy boy which is called the blind assassin by margaret atwood now i've read the handmaid's tale i thought that was really insane it really got out the feminist in me i love the writing but i feel like it just didn't give me that like wow so i'm hoping this will because apparently everyone just loves her writing plus this story sounds really cool i'm just gonna read you the blurb because that's all i know i've just read the blurb so it says 10 days after the war ended my sister laura drove a car off a bridge more than 50 years on irish chase is remembering laura's mysterious death and so begins an extraordinary compelling story of two sisters and their secrets set against a panoramic panoramic backdrop of 20th century history blind assassin is an epic tale of memory intrigue and portrayal so that just sounds so cool and mix that in with margaret atwood's feminist outlook and oh i'm just so excited for it um then i've got a really random book pick that i'm not as excited for but like i've heard people talk about it i've read the blurb and i thought it seems all right and the adventures of a huckleberry finn by mark twain this covers like not cute but i've heard some people say this is a really easy read if you want to try and get into classics it's about this guy called huck finn and he escapes from his alcoholic father by faking his own death which sounds cool and so begins his journey through the deep south seeking independence and freedom on his travels huck meets an escaped slave jim who's a wanted man and together they journey down the mississippi river raising the timeless and universal issues of prejudice bravery and hope so that is what got me timeless and universal issues of prejudice bravery and hope that just that's going to make you cry open your eyes up to prejudice that used to happen in those days we've got a slave we've got a boy who's been abused and i feel like it's just going to be all of the history all the sadness all of like the shocking horrible racism <laughs> this is cool so it says notice persons attempting to find a motive in this narrative will be prosecuted persons attempting to find a moral in it will be banished persons attempting to find a plot in it will be shot <laughs> then last but not least i have me before you by jojo Moyes. i don't know how to say her name obviously everyone knows this movie i've watched it a million times and obviously like the series of books in jojo i've never found this one so i'm excited that i found this and i'm excited to read it because it's going to be sad so thank you so much for watching guys i really hope you found a cool book in here that you're now excited to read even though i probably didn't even explain the problem because i don't even know what most of them are about really hope i've inspired you to go to winchester as well because it just is literally awesome so yeah so i hope you enjoyed and please keep reading and i'll see you guys soon okay bye